housing is something that I think most of us believe that in any community, uh, our neighbors and, and fellow citizens deserve access to safe, affordable, uh, decent housing. But in uh, hot market cities like Boston or San Francisco, uh, and employees of places like TripAdvisor or Amazon may be well familiar with this, housing is just out of reach. Uh, this is a chart uh, about the uh, median sales price in nearby Newton, Massachusetts. Uh, and as you can see, it's up over a million dollars. Um, there is uh, a great missing middle between housing that gets government subsidies and that's public housing and these multi-million dollar penthouses on the waterfront. Uh, in between is this great missing middle. Uh, one more chart uh, to explain an important component of the housing markets. Now, housing markets depend on a lot of things, supply and demand, uh, land use regulations, the uh, location and value of land. Uh, but one critical component is who needs the housing. And uh, as you can see in this chart, the, uh, uh, the type of people that are going to need uh, housing in future years, it's not the traditional family of two parents, uh, two kids, and a dog. Um, as you can see, mostly it's single people. Or uh, it's, the, uh, it's the millennials uh, looking to move out of the basement. Uh, or it's uh, the aging baby boomers, uh, 60 million plus of them. Uh, who are looking to downsize, get rid of the big house, uh, move into something more compact, uh, and usually in cities. Um, it's clear that uh, most of the people who need housing these days don't need a 2,500 square foot single family house. So uh, that's the problem. Uh, what could be part of the solution? Well, uh, we're here to talk about tiny houses as, uh, as one possible thread of, uh, of a solution. Uh, this is the plug-in house, um, which debuted as a uh, prototype uh, earlier this year. It's here at uh, Boston City Hall, um, the plaza outside Boston City Hall. It can be assembled in under six hours, and uh, it's uh, built with interlocking pieces, sort of like a jigsaw puzzle. Uh, you don't need any special tools. It all fits together. Uh, it's actually incredibly uh, sustainable in terms of heating and cooling. Uh, and you can plunk it down uh, in a suitable backyard. Uh, we've seen a lot of design innovation in transportation. So if you think about the Mini or the electric scooter. Um, but recently, uh, those in uh, housing design and uh, architecture have been really coming up with uh, some great innovation uh, in terms of shelter. So the Katrina Cottage uh, was uh, first uh, envisioned to replace FEMA trailers after the hurricane uh, in the Gulf Coast. Uh, and it became a prototype uh, for uh, radically uh, downsized uh, housing. Um, there is also uh, what we call accessory dwelling units, um, which is just a really technical name for carriage houses, granny flats, in-law apartments, uh, basement apartments, uh, 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 a pied-à-terre, a room in, a, in, in an attic. Um, these are all the uh, uh, kinds of housing that uh, is just hiding in plain sight. It's um, it uh, could create uh, overnight uh, just loads and loads of uh, affordable housing um, because it's sitting right there. It's already built. Um, there's more, micro apartments, uh, as small as 300 square feet, uh, uh, where if you're in the city, all the amenities are right out the front door. Parks, uh, schools, libraries, uh, culture, um, and so who needs a lot of space when you're going to be doing most of your living uh, and working um, outside of, of, of that small apartment? The uh, extreme case of this might be seen in uh, housing made of uh, shipping containers. 
and also uh, uh, Japan's legendary uh, capsule hotels. Uh, just a word about uh, some of the background here. Uh, it just so happens that uh, Le Corbusier, who is an architect who I happen to have uh, written a book about, uh, came up with a lot of these ideas uh, some 50 years ago. Uh, the uh, smaller house, the cabanon, he built himself a cabin in the south of France, uh, the unité d'habitation uh, in Marseille, which he pictured as putting these apartments in, um, slotting them in as if putting uh, wines in a wine rack. Uh, so this was a good idea 50 years ago, just as it is today. Um, it's really taking off. Uh, you can build a tiny house uh, uh, on the, uh, I, I, you can get the instructions in a number of places. You can put it on wheels and move it someplace. Um, there is also uh, a lot of interest among young people and millennials, uh, a teenager working on his own uh, tiny house uh, here in the Boston area this summer. And uh, it's uh, really poised to take off and uh, to scale up. Uh, but there's a problem. Uh, you remember the tiny house, the uh, plug-in house? Well, it's completely illegal in Boston. You can't put this in your backyard in Boston. It's not a, uh, accessory dwelling units aren't a recognized housing ca category. Um, uh, this is the result of regulations and codes and ordinances that have built up over the years where you have neighbors who are worried about parking or congestion or people doubling or tripling up, uh, too many people in the neighborhood. And so uh, there's been this sort of strange um, opposition to accessory dwelling units or tiny houses in the backyard um, out of fear of that kind of uh, congestion and, and not wanting that sort of thing in, the, in, in your backyard. So people sort of peer through their curtains and see if there's an extra satellite dish um, in, in uh, the uh, uh, cluster of housing uh, next door and they report it uh, to City Hall you can't so much as have a sink, a kitchen sink, in a carriage house uh, or in-law apartment um, in many communities unless the person living there is related to you. Um, so uh, these regulations and codes are, are, are clearly outdated. Um, like a lot of things, they just need reform and updating and uh, happily a number of communities across the country are doing just that. Uh, so Durango and Denver, Colorado, uh, Washington, uh, D.C., which hopes to make accessory dwelling units and tiny houses as ubiquitous as bike share. Uh, Vancouver, uh, L.A. Uh, is promoting having, uh, putting uh, tiny houses in uh, people's backyards as a solution to homelessness. Uh, and there's a lot of activity that gets down to the business of rewriting the rules uh, regarding uh, housing uh, and, uh, and land use. Uh, the uh, city of Boston is taking some incremental steps to allow something like the plug-in house uh, to be uh, put in people's backyards. And uh, the uh, kinds of people who need this housing um, uh, they just are seeking a roof over their head. Um, a little, little more than that. They're looking for a place to live that is reasonably close to where they work and uh, preferably with access to housing. Uh, so it's the teacher, it's the healthcare worker, uh, it's the uh, person who wants to age in place, uh, stay, in the, stay in their neighborhood, in their, in their community, uh, just have one floor of living. Uh, where it can be a radically uh, downsized um, uh, living space. Uh, down Beacon Street, uh, as it happens, uh, in uh, Newton, not far from here, uh, they've been working on a new accessory dwelling unit uh, uh, policy. Uh, and uh, this sounds really boring and technical, but this is a classic case of 
the sexy stuff is there. We've had all of these innovations in housing design. It's the rules that now need to be reformed uh, to allow them to flourish. And uh, it's important to note that this isn't a free-for-all. Um, the uh, uh, policies that are being developed, whether it's in Newton or in Durango or other places, uh, take great care to uh, uh, place restrictions on parking, for example, on the number of units, uh, the number of residents that can occupy the accessory dwelling units, and uh, also things like um, restricting short-term rentals or Airbnb uh, so that you can't uh, uh, rent it out uh, for under 30 days, for example. Um, and so there are ways to create a policy that will address all of those uh, concerns. And um, the good news is uh, there are, are uh, beautiful designs out there. Uh, architects and designers are coming up with uh, terrific prototypes uh, for the tiny house. Uh, and there are these existing accessory dwelling units uh, all across the country. So um, I thought about ending on a slide of showing another incredibly sexy uh, tiny house that you might see in Dwell magazine. But instead, I'd like to leave you uh, with this report uh, by the city of Newton, uh, because it's my belief that um, we need to change the policy, change the rules of the game uh, regarding land and housing, and allow these um, wonderful designs to flourish. So uh, support this kind of reform of uh, zoning in your own community, and let's let that teacher live in the carriage house out back. Uh, I think we'll all be better for it. Thanks very much.